All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is TJ for Stretch Break. All you need is a chair. All right. Okay, so sitting on the very edge of your chair, we're going to have one leg at 90 degrees and the other one is going to be straight. But I will start with the one closest to you so you see what I'm doing. We're going to either reach mid calf, ankle, or toe. Feeling that stretch through the back of the upper leg. Now, by having the toe pointing straight up, you do feel it through the, the, look, the calf, the lower part of the leg. If you don't want that, you could actually point your toe away from you if you feel like it's too much. Again, just holding that stretch for 15 seconds. All right, let's switch legs. So one leg at 90. The other one is straight, either reaching mid calf, ankle, or toe. Good job. Awesome. All right. So let's take both feet at 90 degrees. So feet flat on the floor. Take your arms. Wrap it around your knee, but make sure that your hands are touching the inside part of your foot and just feeling the stretch through the low back. Excellent. All right. So this one, you could do standing up or you could do it seated, totally up to you, especially if you were in a cubicle and you didn't want people watching you. But I want you to sit onto the very edge of your chair so where one side is kind of hanging off. I'm going to use my right hand to grab the edge of my chair and then I'm going to stretch my quad or the front part of my upper thigh. Otherwise, if you wanted to do this standing, you could actually just rest your foot on the chair if that was an easier option for you. Otherwise, grab your foot. This one requires a little more balance. So you have those three options. Excellent. All right, so let's switch legs. Again, I'll turn, I'll show you the alternative. If you are seated, so left hand grabbing the edge of the chair, right hand is going to grab the right foot, and we're just stretching through the front part of the leg. So ideally, you want your shoulder, your hip, and your knee to be straight across or in a straight line. Otherwise, you could stand and you could rest your foot on the chair or you could stand and you could grab your foot and include the balance aspect of that stretch. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to have both feet at 90, I'm gonna actually take one. I'm gonna cross it over, so in this case, left ankle over right knee. And I'm going to lean forward, feeling the stretch through the hip. So it's through the leg that's bent is where you should be feeling that, especially through that glute. Awesome job. If you wanted to use your left hand, if you have your left knee up, you could actually just gently push just to feel that stretch a little more. All right, let's switch sides. All right, so now right ankle over left knee. 
Now, a key thing about this is that you want to make sure that your left ankle is underneath your left knee. And again, just lean forward. And again, this time use the right hand to gently push. You don't have to, but it does help kind of in that stretch a little bit more through that outer hip, especially on this right side. Excellent. All right. So for the next one, so option one, the stretches for the inner thigh. You actually sit on the edge of your chair and you extend one leg out and then you're just leaning into it. So you feel the stretch through the inner thigh. Otherwise you could stand if you, chuck, if you so choose and you could just kind of sit back into it, like you're kind of sitting back into a chair. So like so, but that leg is extended or it's straight, so feeling the stretch through the inner thigh. So again, it looks like this on the chair. Excellent. All right, so I'm gonna turn just to show you the opposite side. All right, so remember, in this case, left leg is straight, the right leg is bent. Sitting on the edge of your chair, just be careful not too much of the edge of the chair. You don't want the chair to leave you. So again, feeling the stretch through that left inside leg. And if you were to stand, you would be sitting back into it. That same sort of thing, straight leg, Feeling that stretch. Excellent. All right. So now let's work on the stretch of the torso. All right. So left hand is going to cross over right knee, and you're going to sit up tall, ankle twist. Make sure you're breathing. Again, getting a little movement, a little stretch through the torso, through the low back. All right, so now let's go right hand to the outside of the right, or sorry, right hand to the outside of the left knee and twist. Excellent. All right. So for the next one, so option one, you can stay seated, stay on the edge of your chair, hands up and just lean back to what feels comfortable to you, but feeling the stretch through the core. Otherwise, option two, you can kind of stand up against the wall just a little bit, not all the way, and lean back. And again, feeling the stretch through the front part of your core. If you're up against a wall and you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can actually step away and put a little arch into your back when you're doing it. It is more challenging just because you don't wanna hurt your back, but you don't wanna to get too dizzy when you come back. That motion. Awesome. All right. So the next one, interlock your fingers for me. We're going to place it back in the head. And I want you to push your elbows back and push your head back into your hands, feeling that stretch. If you have any shoulder troubles or anything like that, and it is a little much, you can always unlock your hands. You kind of have your arms angled down and coming out to your side and just opening up as much as you can, feeling that stretch through the front part of your chest, the front upper body. 
Just really hold that stretch. Raise your arms a little bit if you want to feel it a little differently. Awesome. All right. Okay, for the next one, reach the arm across the body. So right hand is going to either grab the left hand or the left elbow. And the arm is across the body and my shoulder is staying down. I don't have it elevated into the ear. We'll just be a slightly, slightly over time on class since we started just a little late. All right, other side, again, right hand grabs the left hand or right hand grabs, or left hand grabs the right elbow. Again, keep that shoulder down. It away from the ear. All right, one last and final stretch. I'm going to face forward so you can see what I'm doing. My left hand is going to grab the, the leg of the chair just for balance and support, just so you don't fall out, fall out of the chair. And I want you to reach over. And I want you to feel the stretch underneath the shoulder and to the obliques or down the side of your body. And again, if you want to get out of your chair, you can actually do the same exact, exact thing. As long as you don't feel like you have anyone watching you. Excellent. All right, so again, seated, let's switch. Go other side, either grab the leg of the chair and reach, or if you want to get out of your chair and reach. Excellent. All right. Great job, everyone. I hope you have a great Tuesday.